Hello, in this video we're going to graph the total revenue function for the monopoly. A monopoly has an inverse market demand of P equals 400 minus 5Q. We want to graph the monopolist's total revenue function. Total revenue is price times quantity. Price is the per unit price times Q, the quantity sold. So what I'm going to do here to create my total revenue function, I'm going to replace the P term with 400 minus 5Q. And then multiply through by Q, 400Q, then we get minus 5Q squared. So our goal is to graph this function. We're going to find the two quantities where total revenue is zero. So when Q equals zero, if we plug zero into this equation, total revenue is zero. So that's one of the quantities where total revenue is zero. It'll always be zero at zero units of output. And then the second quantity where total revenue equals zero, we're going to do the following. We're going to take our total revenue function and we're going to set the left hand side equal to zero. And now we're going to solve for Q. So adding 5Q squared to both sides Dividing through by Q, we lose a Q on the right-hand side. And dividing through by 5, Q equals 80. So this is the other quantity where total revenue equals 0. So total revenue is 0 at Q equals 0 and Q equals 80. The next step is to find where total revenue is maximized. Total revenue is maximized halfway between our two values we've already found, 0 and 80. So total revenue is going to be maximized at Q equals 40. Again, halfway between 80 and 0. How to find maximum total revenue with calculus? So you don't need to do this, but with calculus, with calculus we're just going to take the derivative of the total revenue function, which gives marginal revenue going to set marginal revenue equal to zero and solve for Q. So let me just do that here. So here's the derivative of total revenue. Notice I set it equal to zero and now we're going to solve for Q and we'll get Q equals 40 just like we found up above. All right moving on. Next find the value of total revenue at its maximum. We want to find what total revenue equals when Q equals 40. So when total revenue is maximized at Q equals 40, price equals, so take our price equation, and we're going to plug 40 into it, and we see the price equals $200. Therefore, total revenue at Q equals 40 is going to be 200 times 40, or $8,000. So to graph total revenue, we're going to plot three coordinates. The first coordinate, we found total revenue is zero when Q equals zero. We found that total revenue is maximized at 40 units, at 40 units of output, Q equals 40, total revenue is 8,000. And then we found at Q equals 80, total revenue is zero. So graphing these three coordinates, we're going to notice that total revenue will be an inverted U looking something like this. So our first coordinate over here, we got a Q equals zero, total revenue equals zero. Over here we have Q equals 80, total revenue is zero. And then we found where total revenue is maximized at Q equals 40, total revenue is 8,000. So we have this inverted U shape. All right, let's do one more example. Example two, a firm faces a demand for its good given by the following. We want to graph the total revenue curve for the firm. First solve the demand equation for price. So we're going to take this demand equation and solve it for price. Adding 2P to both sides, subtracting Q from both sides, and dividing through by 2. We now have our inverse market demand. And before, as before, we're going to find the two quantities where total revenue is zero. So total revenue will always be zero at zero units of output. 
And then the next step is to generate our total revenue function. So where we have P, I'm plugging in 6 minus 1 half Q. Distributing that Q. Setting total revenue equal to 0, we'll find our other quantity where total revenue is 0. We're going to solve for Q now. Multiplying both sides through by 2. And dividing both sides through by Q, we get Q equals 12. So when Q equals 12, total revenue is 0. Total revenue is maximized at Q equals 6, which is halfway between Q equals 0 and the Q equals 12 that we just found. And at Q equals 6, the price will equal $3, plugging this 6 into this Q equals 6 into our inverse market demand. And total revenue then at its maximum will be $18, 3 times 6. Now we can graph the three coordinates. We have the 0, 0, the 6, 18, and the 12, 0, and our graph would look something like this. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.